Hey, hey, you guys, Trisha Turner here. It is Tuesday. It is January the 26th, almost the end of the first month of 2021. This is Anything But Average, Achieving Success in Life. And I'm super happy because not only do I just love the person that I'm getting to share the screen with today, but it's also her birthday. So welcome, Stephanie Perez, and happy birthday. Thank you, Trisha. Thank you. I appreciate it for you, um, you know, to have me here. Definitely. So for you guys that don't know, um, Stephanie is a real estate agent. She has been with me. How long have we been together now? Do you know? Two years. Two years. Okay. So mm -hmm. she was with me um, for y'all that know that we went from an independent brokerage and now we are a team within EXP. And Stephanie is, I swear, one of the hardest working real estate agents I've ever met. She has such a burning desire to be successful. She has that fire in the belly that you hear people talk about when they are really after it, really wanting to achieve success. She has that. And she has that determination, not only to be successful for her own self, but to help her family and to help other Hispanic families and other Hispanic women. Because I'm a born and raised Houstonian. Um, I know no other language and no other life than being in Houston like this. But Stephanie is bilingual. And so she had some language challenges when she first got into real estate and I've watched her grow and become just super successful and driven and just I'm so proud of her. So I thought it would be great for her to share her story a little bit about what it was like in the beginning as a new agent and maybe that language barrier. And then what were some of the things that she's done in the past two years to turn into this great success story that she is. So Stephanie, if you could with everybody kind of tell everybody where you're from, how long you've been in real estate, and then what it was like your first year. Okay, so I'm from Colombia. I have been living here in Houston for 20 years. Um, I have, I mean, my license, I had my license two years ago. In the first year, I mean, thank God I started. Um, the first year was a travel because everything was new for me. I mean, terminology, everything that I mean. Every Monday here in the in the in the office, we have a meeting, and everybody was giving tips and that, and it was I mean, it was overwhelmed. But uh, I mean, I did what Trisha told me. I mean, you need to you know build your pipeline. Everything that you're learning this year, you're gonna see it next year. So that's basically what happened. Last year, yeah, my second year, thank God it was much better than the first one. But now I feel that, I mean, everything that you do, you have to, um, I mean, you have to study, you have to prepare. The first year I wasn't prepared. I mean, one thing is just to go in, you know, have uh, go to school to have the, the license. That's not, I mean, that's the, just the beginning. But with the training and if you are like with good broker like Trisha, she's amazing. Our team group are amazing. So yeah, that's how I, I'm, I mean, I've overcame so much fears that I had, just like you say, language barrier. Uh, I was afraid to say the wrong things, um, my accent. So, but now I'm here and I'm happy. And I mean, I don't know what else can I say. Just thank you, Trisha. Ah, you're welcome. I remember, so I was thinking back and I remember, you know, probably your first six months in, it was overwhelming and there's so much to learn and there's so many different things. And you wanted it like now, you know, and we all do. We all want to be successful like yesterday. And I remember your face in one of our conversations and you were upset because you were like, I'm trying so hard and I don't understand why it's not happening. And I told you, I remember our conversation. I was like, it will happen if you just keep doing the same things day in, day out, you will be successful. And you never stopped. You never stopped. You never gave up, even on days when you maybe were weary. What were some of the things during those times yeah, during that conversation time when you know what I'm talking about what were some of those things um, that you helped your mindset push through to know you know I can do this well I was hoping I mean every let's be real we were waiting for or I was waiting for let's say you know get leads well no you don't get leads you you have to work for everything that you do I mean everything that everything that I have done I have done it myself if i if i if i want something i have to work it if 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 i want to sell a house i have to go find you know the client the person to 
trust in me to sell the house. If I want to buy, you know, help someone buy, I have to do it myself. I, at the beginning, I, I was kind of relying on, yeah, let's let, you know, Tricia, you know, uh, give me something. Give me, no, that's not the way that you have to learn. You have to learn in it. You have to earn it yourself. Work for it. Nobody's going to give you nothing. Work for it. I mean, we get here all the training, all the support, but you have to do your own business. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Because I remember even a couple of our conversations. I know when you were first trying to figure out, you know, what is it you wanted to do? Who did you want to work with? And I remember at one point you were thinking, you know, I feel in my heart that I want to focus on the Hispanic community. And you said, but I'm not sure that I can do that. I'm not sure how to go about that. But yet you did. And I don't know if it was intentional. I believe that it was or if it just they had gravitated to you because you are out there and you're being that force and that voice. What do you think it was that made you pivot into such a force in the Hispanic community? Um, you know, yeah, at the beginning, I wanted to more be like on the um, American side. And I, I mean, yeah, Hispanic, but I mean, I'm, I'm Hispanic, I'm Colombian and I need to help my people. So that was, yeah, before I was trying to do videos in English, this and that. No, I have to focus on helping my people. That's, that's, that's my goal. And uh, yeah, and, and I mean, thank God that now that I'm more successful, people are starting to trust more in me because I'm doing, thank God, you know, good job with, uh, you know, buying or selling. So yeah, it's just a matter of, you have to feel comfortable. And I feel comfortable speaking Spanish. I feel comfortable uh on my language and i mean i know that i i can't speak good english but definitely i will i feel comfortable now working with americans because i have you know few transactions before i was more afraid no i cannot do it or oh, what i'm gonna say this and that it doesn't matter if if i know how to do it and if if i know how to you know the struggle or what the situations I know that I can push through it. And of course, I know that I can help more people, you know, buy or sell in Spanish. And, you know, you hear and you when you listen to people's success stories and you read about the success, their success stories, oftentimes they'll attribute a lot of their success to doing the things that made them the most uncomfortable. And when you look at like in the real estate, we know the things that we need to do. And oftentimes they're things we don't like to do. And for you, I know a lot of your early beginnings was video. You know, you were afraid to be in front of the camera and you had that fear of you couldn't get it done perfect. You wanted it to be perfect before you put it out there. And I can remember one day, even in the conference room, you were in the conference room. You probably remember you were in there for a long time. I think it was a couple of hours, if even. And I was like, man, you must have got a lot of videos done. <laughs> Do videos. And when you came out, you're like, oh, I got that done. And you were we were laughing because you had only done one. Remember? Only one, like for a minute and a, and a half. And I was there like for three hours. Oh my God. Yeah, I remember that. But nothing is perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing is perfect. Now I realize nothing is perfect. We are humans. We make mistakes. It's fine. If I wait, you know, for the video to be perfect, then it will never be on, on Facebook or it will, I will never upload it. So it is what it is. This is what you have. This is what it is. And what's even cooler is that because I see now you guys, she does video like all the time. She does Facebook lives. She does educational videos and she does them in Spanish. And so it's super cool because I, of course, will see her on Facebook. I don't understand anything. I wish I did. But I'm just so happy to see you doing that because I honestly, I don't know if I'm just out of the loop, but I have never seen another real estate agent doing that. I've never seen anyone get on there speaking Spanish to let the Spanish community hear that message because there's people out there that need your help. You know, they have that same language barrier and they, they more relate to the Spanish um, accent and to, to Spanish. And so for you to get out there and be that voice, I think is commendable. I think you're amazing. Do you find that um, your viewership has increased as you've been doing those more and more? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Every time that I post a video, like you said, a uh, informational video on Facebook, I'm trying to give more, not just like the basic information, but information that I'm 
let's say I have a deal and I have uh, something that I have, you know, questions that my that my uh, clients have. I'm trying to answer those questions for the people. And I'm getting a lot of people from, I don't know from where, from Facebook that they're text, you know, sending me, you know, asking me questions when I'm like, okay, I mean, it's great. I mean, the videos that I'm doing, it's, it, I mean, people have the same questions as my client. And now I'm here answering those questions. And maybe, I mean, you never know, they might, you know, use me to buy or sell. So, yeah, I'm enjoying it, Trisha. Oh, I'm are. really enjoying what I'm doing now. And it shows, like when you are on camera, you have this confidence about you. You mm -hmm. don't look like you're just kind of be trying to be some sales pitch. You are, first of all, I know you personally, so I know your heart is involved in everything that you do, but you come off that way on camera too, where it's like, Stephanie is out there, you guys, doing the work and she's putting her heart and soul into everything. And she does the things that make her uncomfortable, but she's not afraid. You know, she doesn't get up every day and be like, oh, I'm not going to do this because it may make me uncomfortable. She's out there doing it. And just even like today doing this Facebook Live, you know, she's like, I asked her, are you nervous? And she's like, I am a little bit, but I'm glad, <laughs> glad that you're pushing me because mm -hmm. I need to do this because y'all. Yes. She's a force to be reckoned with. And there's so many people out there that are going to be better off because they did what she said or because they listened to the advice that she gave them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With you, with the Hispanic community, what do you think is one of the challenges for buyers and sellers? Um, information. They don't have the right information. Um, there's, I mean, most of the people, they're first time home buyers or first time, or they, or they have bought a house and, and they have been living there for years and they don't, I mean, cause our, our, um, like when, like in Colombia, when you buy a house, you stay in the house forever. Like you can't <laughs> remember. Yeah. My grandma house, I'm 38 and I remember that they lived there before I was born. Wow. Yeah. So you're not used to sell. Okay. That's how we are. So people will like, here, they, they will buy the house. They will stay there forever. So they don't know what's the process now to sell the house. Okay. So, Hey, how much do I have to pay for, you know, commission? How, how do you do this? How do you do that? That's where I'm in. And I'm a hundred percent honest with people. And, and if I try, if I, if I can help, you know, if I see that, this, let's say in a listing, if I see that they struggle with, you know, monetary, they don't have, uh, or they have to sell the house because they're, um, you know, they're struggling with money. Of course, I'm going to help them. I mean, I'm not going to charge the whole commission. I don't feel good doing that. So, um, um, yeah. And so for you, like for us, you know, for me, who I've been doing this for a long time, I don't always have those kinds of conversations where people don't understand the whole process. Whereas for you, because like you just said, the way you were brought up and a lot of people in the Hispanic community, that whole selling a house process is a whole new concept to them. So you're actually mm -hmm. educating them from the very beginning into something they know nothing about. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, and that's what I'm trying to do with the videos. Everything, like everything, it's a question, so we need answers. Mm -hmm. And it, there's minimal questions, dumb questions, but they're big in 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 a transaction. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. And if and if if you know if my videos are helping someone, it's fine. I mean, only one person that I can answer that question for that person. It's great for me. That's right. And then as a real estate agent, what do you think was one of your biggest struggles in the very beginning? And is there anything that you could have done differently now looking back? Uh, fear. I think that my fear was holding me back. And um, yeah, it was just fear. Fear to, I don't know, fear to success, fear to speak, fear to, to say, hey, I'm here. I know what I'm doing. Trust in me. That's that's that was that was my fear. I mean, the first transaction, thank God, it was my my I sold my house. Oh so, yeah, I, um, it was it was the first one. So I started learning there from 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 the point that I started my first transaction. It was like one after one after one after one after one. In every transaction, I'm learning. Every transaction is different. So I'm I mean I'm happy that I'm just learning. I'm in a learning mode. Yeah, last year learning. Hmm? 
what about phone calls? So cold calling, calling database, what about that? How comfortable are you with that now? <clears throat> I'm more comfortable uh, now that we're doing, you know, uh, scripts. I mean, I want to say the right things. I don't want to hurt, you know, hear this, you know, just another sale call. No, I want to touch that heart in for people to trust on me. So now that we're doing more scripts, I mean, everything is practice. Yes. Everything is practice and the more that you do it, the better that you get. So yeah, practice, practice. I definitely uh, with the system that now you integrated into the, you know, into the group, which is, is amazing. Um, of course, we have to be calling. I'm gonna be calling everybody, <laughs> panic. You know, English, I'm going to be doing it all. Yes. And you know what? I remember, too, when you had that mindset that making your calls, maybe the person on the other end wouldn't understand you clearly. I remember that, too. And again, it's that that's all in your mind. You know, it's mm -hmm. your mind. It was like limiting yourself and limiting your own potential because you're an amazing person. I think your English is perfect. And so does anyone else on the other line. But in your own head, you are the only one holding yourself back, you know? Yeah, and totally. Now, you I have agree. great confidence. And so it's like, you're not afraid to get on the phone. You're not afraid to do your videos. And because you're not afraid any longer, that stuff isn't holding you back. And now you're propelling, you know, you're growing, you're gaining, you're gaining momentum. And once you gain momentum, then it's fun. And then you get this confidence. And then you're like, I can do this, you know? I enjoy it. I mean, I enjoy every, every day of, I mean, even weekends. I'm working the weekends. I'm tired, yes, but I'm, I enjoy what I do. Definitely. I'm enjoying helping people. I'm enjoying meeting with people. I enjoy, you know, talking to people, strangers, because that's getting me more confident that I can do things. It that is. I can do, yeah. And for us here in our office, you know, I was a single mom forever. I was a real estate agent that struggled for years. Um, and back in 2010, I was like, you know what? I'm game on. I'm never going to live like that again. And so I've been hustling and grinding every day. And because of that, we have here in our office such a passion for people that struggle and then hustle and grind and then make it to the top. And so in the real estate industry, it has changed so much and it continues to change. And what you see is there are a lot of companies and teams that um, they're not out there to help each other. They're out there all about, you know, what about me? What about me? And in our office, we're not. We're all about, hey, we'll help you. Let us help you. And right. so watching Stephanie transform the way that she has in just this short amount of time, I thought what better person than to lead up a new division that we're starting here in our office. And so we know in Houston, there's such a need for Hispanic real estate agents to have a home because unfortunately, sadly, they often get left alone. And it really didn't become um, evident to me until COVID. I got on several calls with Hispanic real estate agents. They were at home working from home. The company that they were with wasn't helping them. They kind of didn't fit into the click. And so nobody was helping them. They were alone. They didn't know where to go. And a couple of them were even thinking about getting out of the real estate industry. And I thought, A, don't get out of the real estate industry. You're just not with the right people. You need to be around people that will help you and guide you. And then through all of that thinking things through and what can we do to make a difference? I thought, oh my gosh, Stephanie's got to run with this. And so yeah. here in our office and on our team, we've created a Hispanic division and Stephanie is the head of that. And so what does that mean? Well, that means you're going to be part of our group, part of our organization. We do have a brick and mortar. We're here every day. We do training every Monday and Stephanie and I will guide you through everything that you need. I, of course, am not Hispanic and I don't know Spanish, but Stephanie does and she's lived that I don't know what to do. She knows what to do now. She's lived that. Who do I call? Where do I go to do this? She's done all of that. And she continues. She's mm -hmm. in learner mode. And then she's with me, who we are constantly in learner mode and we're constantly training. And so I wanted to us for us to start this here because we want everyone to have a place to go. We don't want anyone to get out of the real estate industry. If you've got a heart and a desire to succeed, then you just need to give it one more shot with the right people. And we know we can help you and we can make you be successful. 
And Stephanie, you know, what we've done here is we've organized this. We have everything in place for you to get started. And she will literally be like your handholder. And until you're comfortable and ready to do things on your own, you'll never be alone. You'll always be never. with us. But she will never be overwhelmed where she can't help you. We won't allow that. And so mm -hmm. it's something that we wanted to offer. Um, and Stephanie is definitely going to be your person to reach out to. Stephanie, what do you think as you look at the future for real estate and your future? What are some of the things that you're focused on for 2021? Um, and what are some of the ways that you think you can impact another Hispanic real estate agent that may be thinking about leaving? Well, um, I mean, I know that it's hard. I mean, it, it, it was hard for me at the beginning, you know, not feeling me uh, comfortable speaking. So I bet that there's a lot of, uh, you know, realtors that are not in the good, you know, right place. I cannot believe how they feel. I mean, here is just a matter of call. Hey, I need, I need your support. Can you please help me this and that? We have that support. And in everything that I have learned, I mean, every day I'm learning, but everything that I have learned in, in, with my struggles, um, will be more than happy to, you know, help someone. Just how, you know, people have helped me here in the office. Absolutely. And it's not, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy at all, but it's not impossible. It is not impossible. So yeah, for anybody there, your, you know, friends on Facebook or people that, you know, agents that are struggling. I definitely do not quit. Give it a try. You know, come here to the office. Um, Trisha has a really good training. She has a really good system with our group. And I'm here to help anybody. Just like, you know, people from the office help me all day. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's the best place for people to find you, Stephanie? Facebook, if not here in the office, I mean, uh, I'm Instagram basically, too, right? if, yeah, Instagram, I'm Steph, Steph Perez Realtor, or same here in, you know, Facebook, Stephanie Perez, if you have any questions, I mean, I'm here to help. Mm -hmm. Definitely, my heart is to help, and, and, and I want to see more people, Hispanic people su succeed just like I'm doing, because it. it is possible. I mean, I have friends that they're realtors. They're not here because, hey, yeah, we have to pay a fee, this and that. It doesn't matter. You have to pay to learn. Yes. You do have to pay to learn. When you feel comfortable, and I, I mean, I, I don't feel comfortable yet. I don't think that I'm going to be, you know, living Trisha in a long time because yes. I know that, yeah, because I know that I'm, I'm doing the right thing. But, yeah, there's people that, unfortunately, maybe they're, just like you said, Trisha, you were, uh, you know, single mom they have to they have you know their commission they're only paying a fee a small fee in other offices but they don't get trained how many transactions are you doing you know a month probably right. one so right. yeah it's just i mean everything it has to balance for me if i have to pay a commission i'll you know pay it happily i'll pay it all you know all day because i'm i'm, I'm learning and everything that I'm learning, I want to give that, you know, back to someone that really have the earth to, you know, to succeed. Yes. You have to first want it and you have to really want it bad enough. And then you have to be willing to do the work. And you are. You want it and you're willing to do the work and you get up and you show up every single day and you do the work. And I'm so proud of you. And especially on your birthday, I'm so proud that you did this with me today. <laughs> yeah. You guys Thank you, Trisha. And out there, y'all make sure and follow Stephanie Prez. Look, it's spelled S T E P H. Y'all look her yeah. up on Instagram, find her here on Facebook, follow her, learn from her, seek her out, send her a private message and, and go have coffee with her, grab coffee, come to the office, come see how pretty our office is, how structured we are. We definitely are here to help y'all. Don't leave the real estate industry. Come over here. We have a Hispanic division out there for you guys. So thank you so much for being here on your birthday, Stephanie. Thank you, Trisha. I appreciate it. Once again, everything that you've done for us, that you have done for me, I really, really appreciate it with all my heart. Thank you. Bye, you guys. Bye.